like your attire? I'm tired, sir. Who is Gabriel? I'm Gabriel. So by now, you should be using a big gym. Yes, sir. All your plans and stuff, everything you put your hand on, like business, is done. Yes, sir. True, sir. Can I help you? Sir, I help you, sir. Ashada ia da kasto parika da hai atuku ni asoto iba rakotoza ekladiga madosa diga bayande bele shida galadi asatai bele kosha liga bado sande ita do parika ndo ia brehendi gando go si biara bush pariara ha muniano no kikwa kwa na ya na bahaki in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know how many of you know. Let it, let it. That, give me that sound. Don't, 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 don't kill that sound. I told you that in the realms of the spirit, there is a realm of sound. <clears throat> the Bible says on the day of Pentecost there was a sound. The Bible says in the last days, God will blow a sound. That's why the Bible says in the realm of the spirit there are so many voices, and yet there is not one voice. That make it not sense. Is someone hearing what I'm saying now? Uh -huh. I don't know how many of us know that prayer has a memory. I don't know how many of us know that prayer has an intelligence. That when you enter the spirit of prayer. You will not have prayer point. When you enter the spirit of prayer, you will not have prayer. <laughs> On its own accord, it will start finding things to answer. You sit on your bed, even though your body cannot carry on. You have entered the spirit of prayer. <laughs> told you here on Sunday that you are a Christian for 10 years or you are a Christian or you, you, are, you are 30 years and you have not prayed your first 10 years you have not prayed as in your first 10 years you didn't stop praying every day you are a clown you have not started when people are talking you should shut up you are 21 years old and you have not prayed 10, year, 10 hours stretch. You are a joker. I didn't say you are 30. You are 21 years. I didn't say you are 40. I didn't say you are, you are 21 years as a Christian. You have not prayed 6 hours stretch. 10 hours stretch. You are a clown. You worship Zion. When you are singing that song, you raise, you raise, ancient Zion's king, you raise, and we call it Kadosh Kadosh. You raise, it will inflame and ignite something in your life. I'm not talking, I don't want to raise up Christians who are looking for miracles. I don't want to raise up Christians who are looking for who to prophesy. I don't want to raise, I want to raise Christians whose heart burnt after God. Who's a punt? The three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, say if our God does not save us, we will still not bow to your God. Even if he doesn't save us. That is a part. That is a part. That is a realm. He has come to, to, come to, to know God. That my, my, my life is for God. told you prayer has a memory prayer has an intelligence there is a realm of waiting how many of you know that what you call disgrace is a spiritual cause in the realm of the spirit it's a cause 
in the realm of the spirit that you must take from the lessons of the breastplate of God. Disgrace. Because if you are not disgraced, there are senses. God caused that disgrace so that you return back to him. What you call pain is a cause in the realm of the spirit that you must take if you must attain greatness. What you call betrayal is a realm of the spirit that you must undergo if you want to attain greatness. Let me tell you something. Even if this is your first time in this church, something should ignite in you. It's not your first time in the father's in your father's house. It's not your first time in God. This is not church. Oh. See, as I enter, we just started. We didn't hear, yeah, open your Bible. That's not what we're doing here. That's, that is not, it's not this kind of place. <laughs> you come and encounter God, just lost. You are waiting say, now today we are talking about faith. Show me in the Bible. Where Jesus was teaching, he said, now the topic of my, of my message is faith. So we give sermon titles so that you have a trail of thought. The Bible says he opened his mouth. As he opened his mouth, he started talking. It's in the presence boys are turned into men. In his presence, boys, men are turned into great men. They say they won't do you. Not somebody who understands his presence. Somebody say, carry your name. Do you know how many times they've carried my name to shrine? Do you know how many Babala have killed in the presence? You are wasting time. Do you know how many of Tomoko they've given me to eat as love portion? I ate and I told the person, thank you. And nothing happened. You think we are talking nonsense? <laughs> never been to hospital to undergo any surgery. I will never till God comes. Why? I understand the secret place of his presence. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Can I have it on my screen? Shall abide under the shadow. There is a place you come not to visit. You came to dwell. And until you know how to dwell, nothing happens. He that dwells is not he that rushes to pray and rushes out. He that goes there, he stays there 30 minutes, 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours, 5 hours, 10 hours, 11 hours, a whole day. Iyana, wananana, ulelele, maraga, elelele, maya, is there. That is the man that abide. That is the man that abide under the shadow. The Bible calls the place of prayer a secret place. Because there are prayers you pray, nobody knows. But when God will answer, the whole world will sit. It was in the place of prayer. It was on the altar of prayer. Elijah caused rain. Elijah created and manufactured rain. In the place of prayer. In a season where rain was not supposed to fall. You can bet your season. Your season of testimony. You can bet it. What you are pursuing for five years can happen in three months if you stay in prayer. If you stay in prayer, what you are looking for for 20 years can happen just like that. But we have Christians who can pray. We are Luke chapter 18 verse 1. Let me show you something. Jesus made a parable in Luke chapter 18 verse 1. Let, let, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. He said, man, he speak a parable unto them to this end that men ought always 
He says a compulsion. Art is necessary. It's obligatory. Men always ought to pray and not to see it. You have 24 hours in a day. How many hours do you pray? And you are shouting that people are making money. Why wouldn't they make money? Why, why wouldn't they make money? They say, the spirit of almost there but never there. You can kill it in the presence. In his presence, you can kill it. In the altar of prayer, you can kill it. Elijah said, Elijah, said, Elijah said, come here. Go and check where that rain has fallen. He said it has not fallen. He continued. He said, yeah, go and check now. Because I prophesy rain will fall. Sometimes when we prophesy and you see things happening, you don't know. Is this thing that is working? You don't know that this thing is working. There is a realm that you get to that your mouth cannot open because you are sick or you are ill. Because your body cannot carry on. But your heart is praying. That was the kind of prayer that Anna entered that the ribs was crying out. He can't come out again because nothing is there. The church is not a place. It's just a place of real house. It is the outside world. Let me tell you something. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The church is a place of real house. The real deal is outside. When you meet somebody you didn't know you were talking to a Shango priest. When you met somebody you didn't know you were talking to an Ayala priest. You did not know the kind of person you were talking to. The person slapped you. One on one side paralyzed. Then you remember that you are not from this place. That he that comes from above is of above. Then you began to speak in tongues. Right now, go back to your sender. And the other person is like paralyzed. Are you going to come to church and say, come follow me to my church? Are you going to say that? I say prayer has a memory. When you are forgotten that you pray some prayer. It will send it down when it's needed. Are you hearing me now? Men ought always to pray. Men ought always to pray. <laughs> Are you hearing me now? in a place of prayer. That in the lexicon of the spirits, may they find my name, Maseke. You don't know anything, no? In the lexicon of the spirit realm, there is a name and a tree called Maseke. Let it be that years after I've gone, I become, I become a patriarch in the realm of the spirit. As they are calling out Bishop Benson in the outside in our time. Let them be calling Maseke Daniels in their time. And I say, no, I'm ready to stay in this place. Called his presence. A place called unapproachable light. Moses saw a glimpse of him. And he was never normal. I have seen all kinds of miracles. I have seen the dead come back to life. Eh? I have seen, I've seen short legs grow out and become normal. We have seen fibro cower all of a sudden. HIV, over 132 patients healed. Confirmed healed. Then I'm telling God, give me the secret. Show me the secret of my life. He said, what secret do you need again? I know what I'm looking for. That because of this altar, eh, revivals and crusades can kick off in Meduguri because of this altar. That let it be said that a man prayed in Joss and his environs, cannot, Kaduna, Kano, Bauchi, Gombe, begin to hit the streets. Revivals start hitting the streets because a man prayed it. I 
don't know what your prayer point is. I don't know what your prayer point is. But when you stay in his presence, you'll be praying his will. That let your will be done. Use me for your will. And you will forget your will. And say, if you please you, O oh Lord, and craft my will in your will. If you please you, just use me for your will. Men of his presence are the one making the news. You cannot be lost in his presence and people will not hear about you. It's not possible. That you are lost in his presence. Who is the idiot that is threatening you? How many times I've, I've caught this, tried to harass you people here. I wrote a letter to you. Give them that your prophet's name is Masike Daniels. And they began to apologize to them. We didn't know. We didn't know. We didn't know that it's your prophet. We didn't know. We didn't know. It's okay. Be going your own. Let me go my own. <laughs> Apology letter. <laughs> we didn't know it's your pastor. Somebody came to meet me and said, Daddy, I was part of them and I don't want to be part of them again. I said, give me your, what's your name? I wrote the name on the sheet of paper. Wrote some psalms by intelligence, spiritual intelligence. Wrote some psalms on it and folded it. I said, put it in your, in your, in your, in your wallet. The guy started greeting them. How far are we done? He said, we are done. I, I thought you were telling me. He said, no, don't worry, we are done. One of them called his name suicide. I was harassing my kid brother. I said, tell him. Say his name is suicide. Tell him your brother's name is death. <laughs> I wrote something on a sheet of paper. I said, put it in your pocket. Go and meet him. They started running. He was saying, hello. He said, don't greet me. Hello. He no answer again. Nelson graduated from school. Nothing. A man who understood him called them uncircumcised Philistines. famous even though he was the son of God in human flesh he located prayer 18 years the Bible says he came back when he came back the Bible says he returned with power you are complaining you have not prayed how do you know your spiritual energy is in the place of prayer 
You see a man. Eh? He's carrying weight. He can carry all the weight. But when it comes to prayer, he can't last 15 minutes. Then you see one thing that one person that is looking like this. Two hours is like he's just starting. <laughs> Three hours is just starting. That's not energy. You are seeing an old man, 70 years old. He says, Let's go and pray. You say, ah, I go dust this one. Now soon I start prayer. Two hours, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't tire. The man is 70 years. Five hours. He says, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bala Shakata, Barakonte, Kilavata. You know, no sin spiritual energy. You want to know your spiritual energy? Come to the place of prayer. If you can't last one hour straight, you are a small boy. I don't care your spiritual gifts. You are a small boy. That gift, God does not respect gift. He gave you gift. He was the one who gave you. He doesn't respect it. He made you for fellowship. The word is called koinonia. The word is called koinonia. He made you for fellowship, interaction. Locate my place in creation. That's the prayer point. Locate my place in creation. <laughs> if you are waiting for me to say, let's pray. Wait on. Dadabiano Selegedia Faraka Asta Parata Sikelede Isha Paradon. And to 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 poroko to supre keli digi marashata lagia. When body hits you, you will pray. Ten hours, you are not done because there is a body. It was burden that hit Anna. Burden hit Elijah. Burden hit Elisha. It was burden. They were burdened. It was like a weight, a yoke was upon them. You are looking, do you know at the point where you are scared, your heart is beating very fast. You are looking, what did you do? What offense did you make? You, did, you couldn't find no offense. It's called burden. It's burden knocking on your spirit. There was no offense. You check your life. You say, I'm righteous. I didn't make any mistake. I didn't make any offense. There's no offense. Everything is fine. I look, this one is calm. That one is calm. Why am I, why am I troubled? Why am I troubled like this? What's making me troubled? Why, what is making me, why does it look like I cannot sleep? It's like somebody is going to visit you in the night. It's like you are expecting a thief. It's like an arm robber is coming. You are, you are panting. You say, but I'm secured. The Bible said the man prayed. When he came back, he returned with power. Look at what happened here on Sunday. Look at what's happening. You are not touching anybody where people are broken. The man who is waiting at the end when you are at the beginning. What are you talking about? Jehovah is his name. The one on the other side. The one who has eyes everywhere. He began. Before the beginning began, he was waiting at the end. In the beginning, he calls you from the end. He's talking to you about your end when he's just about to start.